Okay, in this video we talk about a statistic that measures the strength of a relationship between two variables, and that is a correlation coefficient. Uh, we usually use a row to designate a population correlation coefficient, but more often we work with sample data, and so the sample correlation coefficient is R. So don't worry about how you calculate R as more important to know that it's a number between minus 1 and 1. And if the number is either close to minus 1 or 1, that's a very strong relationship. If your R is equal to 0, it is no relationship. If it's positive, if it's closer to, uh, if it's positive, that means that there's a positive relationship between the two variables. As one gets bigger, the other one gets bigger. If it's a negative number, that means that it's inverse. And that means as one gets, or a negative relationship, and as, as one gets bigger, the other one gets uh, smaller. So correlations measure the strength of relationships. Let me show you how to calculate them a couple of ways. One way is just to use a formula. So I'm going to use uh, the correlation formula, and I'm going to calculate the correlation between um, this data set and uh, this column and this column. And I'm going to compare calculate uh, or look at the correlation between games one and rush yards, games one and pass yards, games one and punt yards, and I'm going to do it down here. So I'm going to calculate my correlation. Let me zoom in a little bit. So see what I'm doing. So here's our, my correlation coefficient. And the formula is something called C-O-R-R-E-L. And I'm going to look at this data set. And don't grab any labels, just grab numbers. So I'm going to start in row 2. And I'm going to look at that against this data set. And before I copy it over, Before I copy it over, I'm going to put some dollar signs around my reference to my column Bs. Okay, so the correlation, you can see it's positive between uh, the first two columns, games one and rush yards. And that's too many decimal places. I don't need to show that many. Let's just show two. And now I'm going to copy that formula all the way over. And all I'm looking for is the strength of relationship. So I'm looking at the strength of this one. This one is looking at the relationship between column B and column C. Uh, that one we don't need then. So this is the correlation between games one and whatever that a column was, which I think was pass yards. Yeah, pass yards. So when the number is close to one or minus one, it's strong. So that's a pretty strong relationship. That's pretty strong. That's a weak relationship because it's really close to zero. Uh, that's probably our strongest one, but it's negative. That means that as, as this number gets uh, bigger, this number gets smaller, which makes sense because this is defensive yards. And when I can hold the other team to very low rushing yards, I should win games. So when this number is big, that means I lose games. When this number is small, I should win games. So when it's really small like this, I should win a lot of games. And when it's really big like this, I should not win so many games. Okay, that's one way is to use that, uh, the uh, C-O-R-R -R formula. Another way is to use the data analysis, and this is pretty cool. You can use the correlation option in data analysis. Now, in this case, I'm going to actually grab the variable, uh, the label. So I'm going to start in column B. I'm going to go over to uh, column J all the way down, grab the entire data set, uh, let uh, Tell Excel to use labels or in the first row, and I'm going to let it generate a worksheet. And uh, what this does is give you every combination. So it gives you the correlation, the numbers that we just calculated, these numbers down at the bottom are right here. 0 0.59, 0 0.48, there's the minus 0 0.66, 0 0.26. So 
So that is the correlation between games won and all these. But I can also look at the correlation between pass yards and rush yards. So if I look at brush yards and, pa and pass yards, right there, there's, you can see there's, no cor there's very little correlation. Again, the number of decimal places is, is way too many. You know, only show probably two. There we go. Um, so you, you use this. The reason you calculate correlation, it's your, one of your first steps in data mining and in lo in looking for discovery, looking for are there any relationships between our data? Because if, there, if the data has no relationships, then we're not going to worry about cause and effect. But when we see pretty large numbers like, uh, like this one, then we can say, hey, it looks like that our games won is related to our opponent rush yards. It's a pretty uh, high correlation. It's negative, but it's a high number. In situations like this, it looks like that penalty yards and punt yards are not related at all. So let's not worry about cause and effect in that case. Um, so this is a, a, a symmetrical matrix. And so even though it's blank over here, it's not really blank. It's just this number should also be right there. It's a symmetrical data set. And what I mean by that is the correlation between opponent pass yards and games won is the same correlation as games won versus opponent pass yards. It's the same number. They just don't, they just don't list it twice. And in the middle, the diagonal, that's the correlation is always one because games won is perfectly correlated with games won. And rush yards is perfectly correlated with rush yards. So that's not a surprise. Uh, but this is a very common thing to see are correlation tables. Okay, uh, that's uh, introducing you to how you can measure the strength of relationships between variables. Thanks.